You ready, coach? I'm ready. All right. Strength workout for you today. So um, you will need some sort of weight because it is strength. So kettlebell or dumbbell will work just fine for today's um, program. Uh, we write everything for a kettlebell. If you have a dumbbell, uh, we, there's one particular exercise today that's very challenging to do with a dumbbell. So we'll give you an alternative for that. But we do need to warm up. Mm -hmm. And for strength, we always start with 10 jumping jacks, 10 seal claps, and 10 criss crosses. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Arms out in front, look the chest up nice and wide. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Arms wide, feet wide. Cross it in the middle, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I see in the reflection as I was looking over, we st you still have the Halloween decorations up. It wasn't that, in all fairness, it wasn't that many days ago. So you're, you are good. Um, <laughs> that was funny, I just saw those up. We gotta remember to do that, or you need to remember to do that. I gotta pull up my my zone. If you guys haven't started your my zone yet, you better make sure you start it. Otherwise, you you're your not points. gonna get your points. It's all about the points. It's all about the points. It's about the points. It feels good to see your little dial light up with points. All right, I gotta make sure I'm putting out the energy. So, jumping jacks, seal claps, crisscrosses, done. Yep. Now, um, if you have a kettlebell, the first exercise that we are going to do is a slingshot. So you're going to stand up nice and tall as if you were in a plank position. This actually mimics the plank with your body. You're going to take the kettlebell around, making sure that it does not touch your body. Okay, so you want a little bit of the centripetal force. The goal of this is to make your core control so that you're not wobbling around with the kettlebell. Okay, some of you have really heavy kettlebells and it's gonna go slow. So try your best to stand up as tall as you can and move that kettlebell around. Now, when you switch directions, you're probably gonna start naturally in your good direction. And then when you switch, you're gonna feel a big asymmetry. Um, if you don't have a kettlebell, as you can see, that's probably really challenging to do with a dumbbell. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even try it if you're near a wall or you know, it, it's just not gonna work. Here's your alternative. We are going to do a hip dip plank, what we call a hip dip plank. So from your forearms, have your feet together, hands apart, and you are going to just rock from side to side. All right. Second exercise is going to be an airplane. We're gonna to stick to one side, one side only. So just like you used to do as a kid, Come all the way out, balance, and then come right back up. All right, so I'm gonna balance first. <laughs> balance, arms are out wide, leg goes straight back, and then stand up in one motion. What I commonly see with this is it comes here, and then you go, and it's two motions coming up, make sure it's only one motion up. Also look behind you, make sure you're not gonna put your foot into a wall or knock over the lamp or something like that. So 30 seconds of work, you wanna get the mm -hmm. stopwatch rocking for us. Okay. Um, why don't you do the hip dips? I think that's a good idea. I'll do the, I'll do the slingshot. Yep, I'm, I'm with you on that one. And, 30 seconds. Remember which direction you're going on that slingshot. Ready and begin. If you are wobbling a little bit much on the slingshot, go ahead and widen your feet a little bit. If you have a little bit lighter kettlebell, you can narrow your feet, but stand up really tall so that that kettlebell does not bump or brush your body. And if you're doing the hip dips like Coach Amy, it's slow. It's control. You're not going all the way to the floor. You're just slightly dipping that hip. Holy cow, Coach. In home. time. Thank goodness. Well, I was going to give a little report, but you kept going. I so. kept talking? Yeah. Let's say, shut up. 
<laughs> All right. Airplanes, 30 seconds. Um, I'm gonna start on my right side. It's my stronger side, but it's my least balanced side. Ready? Ready. And three. This one takes a lot of focus, a lot of concentration. You wanna feel that up the entire back of your leg, but because we're keeping our arms up in this airplane position, we're activating a lot of the back muscles, shoulder muscles. All right, just a few more seconds, maybe your Ooh. last one. Oh. And time. Oh. Almost lost my balance on that last one. That would not have been good. You've been saved. Not on your last set. Saved by the last second. All right, I have to, let me see which way I was going. And shoot. <laughs> this is why it's important to remember which way. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. All right. I can't tell. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> you want me to know it, let you know the halfway point? I already switched, no. <laughs> All right, we are speaking of halfway, halfway there. Oh boy. I don't know which one is worse. <sighs> Five more seconds. And time. <sighs> All right. I'm not going to watch this one back because I particularly don't like watching myself <laughs> on a video. Comment below if I was going, if I did both rounds the same. I may have. I may have. See, even the coach gets it wrong from time to time. Too busy talking. All right. 30 seconds of airplanes. Ready? Here we go. Is that what? Is that what it is? You gotta say we on an airplane. Well, yeah. Gotta have some fun with it too. Can't take it too seriously. That's right. All right, less than ten seconds. Maybe two more. Ooh. Should not have watched the stopwatch. Yeah, no, coach. You got you got to maintain that focus. <laughs> and done. <laughs> And in case oh. you wanted to see Coach fall into the wall. <laughs> if you um, watched the deck of cards, you definitely saw me almost face plant. Really? Well, yeah, you were there. Which one did you almost face plant on? Push ups. Oh, yes. Not face plant. You just didn't get up off the. You gave it a good go, but you didn't come up <laughs> off the ground. It felt like a face plant. You didn't come up off the ground. It felt like a major fail. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. This next one is four sets. We're only doing three exercises. We're gonna get six to eight on each side for the first two, and then the last one we're gonna do 10 to 12. It's using a smaller group. We're gonna use both hands for that. So our three exercises. The first one is gonna be this um, asymmetrical offset, uneven, whatever we wanna call it, overhead press. So one hand is going to hold the bell, one hand is going to hold the handle. And we'll press. And when you push, you want to get your arms all the way up. So your biceps between your ears and bring it right back down. So actively push it up and control it right back down to your collar bench. You'll do six to eight. Switch, put the bell and the handle on the opposite hands, and then get your presses going again. Okay, if you have a super duper lightweight, and some of you do, you haven't invested or you got stronger over the last four months or so. Or you have a dumbbell. Or you have a dumbbell. Um, you can do either a single arm, but dumbbells you can hold onto the two ends if you have a heavier dumbbell. But for a lighter weight, you could do a single arm overhead press, six to eight on one side and six to eight on the other side. Okay, dumbbells, it does work. If you have a heavier dumbbell, you can grab by the ends of the dumbbells and press that way. The second one that we're going to do, from the goblet hold position, we're going to do a curtsy lunge into a squat. So we're going to count the curtsy lunges. Six, uh, I'm going to do six on each side because these squats will add up. 
So you'll do a curtsy lunge. Now come out of the curtsy lunge into a squat position. Okay, curtsy lunge into the squat position. You don't wanna come out of the curtsy lunge and put your feet right here. Very hard to squat that way. So put your feet, set your feet in the squat position. Last one we're gonna do, up nice and tall, upright row, bring it just to about the collarbones and all the way back down. Upright row, back down to the collarbones. All right, six to eight on the first one. I'm gonna do six on those curtsy lunge squats. And then finally, we got our kettlebell upright row, 10 to 12. What weight are you picking, coach? I am that blue one over there. No, not necessarily. Oh, are you sure? What are you calling me, weak? Hmm. What are you doing? I'm just thinking we could swap them out. For what? You want the you want the eight? Oh, are you doing the sixteen? Yeah. Okay. And then I guess we don't need to have any discussion. Right. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> okay. I may regret this. Right. It is four rounds. All right. Let's get started with that uneven overhead press. All right, ready and begin. Press up high as you can, bring it back down. Up high as you can, bring it back down. Oh, hit my hat. <laughs> you knew that was coming though. At some point. I'm gonna turn this hat. There we go. And we got the other side. As I was doing that, I, I, I will think of you know, watching clients do this. And one of the things that we sometimes see is as you press overhead, there becomes this arch in your back. And if you felt after that first set that you were arching your back a little bit, go down to a kneeling position. Now from this, whatever knee is down would be the bell side. And so from here, I can press. And because I'm in this half kneeling position, I am less likely to arch my back. So just a little pro tip on that one. All right. I also say, I don't know if you said this or not, but start with the heavier portion in your non-dominant side. Correct. Start you with the middle in your non-dominant. I did not say that. But I was just feeling that as I was doing it. I was like, oh, thank goodness I started non-dominant side first. You were thankful. Yes. I was glad that I remembered that. Okay, coach, we are going to do that curtsy lunge squat. Which direction are we lunging first? Oh, I guess we can go to the... Lunge that way. All right. Ready? Here we go. Lunge. Right into the squat position. Lunge other side. And squat position. Good. One line. Two. Yeah, these squats will add up. Right, they're gonna add up four four sets of this. Good gravy. Oh. Oh. For those of you that have a 16 kilo bell out there. Oh goodness gracious. I'm feeling ya. These compound movements. This is six. This is six right here. Wow. All right, now I'm sweating. Yeah, I, uh, I got my heart rate up. I gotta flip it back over to my mind and see, but I can guarantee you. Um, doo -doo -doo. I can promise you, yep, yep, that got the. I got some color on the board right there. Yeah. Squats always get me. All right, upright row, 
nice and tall. I see so many people trying to bring that kettlebell way, way, way too high. As soon as your elbows stop going up, the kettlebell doesn't have to go any further. You naturally want to do, don't, just high as those elbows go and done. All right, 10 to 12 of these. Okay. Nice and tall, here we go. Keep standing tall, breathing. Don't forget about that part. You keep going with your bad self. This is just 10. Oh, okay. I just slow it down. Oh. I, strength, I tend to hurry it up just tempo. to get it done. I'm hitting the strength tempo. All right, that was one oh, of our four. Okay. We're gonna get real comfortable with these. You're gonna get comfortable being uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got that uneven overhead press. Give us a little shoulder roll. Yeah. Let me see your shoulder roll. All right. You gonna go down? Yeah. Okay. I'll show I'll show how how this version is done. All right. talking going on no for any of these <laughs> and yeah turn your turn your music up yeah and just just you're gonna have follow to along you gotta find your in. find your mental yeah find your mental all right we have a curtsy lunge left travels first mm -hmm. okay i think so all right all right now if you're more comfortable doing all six on one side and then doing all six on the other side, no problem. We did it alternating, but you can certainly do all six to one side and then do all six to the other side as well. I'd be good with that. <sighs> okay. All right. Step into the squat position. Good. One one. This is not one that you want to do accidentally extra. No. You might do like extra kettlebell swings or something, but not this. Woo. <laughs> you concentrating? Yes. <sighs> Woo! Having the competition bow and that movement pattern is very challenging. It's it's big. Yeah. <laughs> Got that big weight out in front of you. Dumbbells would be a little more a little bit tighter in, yeah. Friendly to that. And we when you hold the dumbbell in a goblet hold position and it's got two ends to it, hold it by one end and let it hang down. I see some people holding it from both ends, like they were doing the overhead press and they're holding it here. That's much more challenging than turning it so that it's vertical versus horizontal. Mm -hmm. All right, upright rows. Woo! It's not uh, super hot outside, 
Matter of fact, it's cold outside, but I am sweating. Yep. And there's one benefit is that natural air conditioning that we get with the winter. Still fall, Coach. <laughs> Once it hits 40s, I don't know. It feels like winter to me. A good time to get some water. Yes. Progress. Halfway there. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of my college days I wore my hat and it was always backwards. Really? Yeah. Yep. I never wore a hat until I got old. Yeah. And to shield the sun. I'm, I'm always, always. But definitely not that direction, because that is not no. helpful. No, not, not in the least bit. Helpful to keep your hair out of your face, <laughs> but not... Uh, not anything else. No. Okay. Set number three. Remember hip press? I'm going I'm to stick to the... You like that? I do. I do. Make sure if you're taking it to the floor, your toes are tucked under. That way you can push down into the floor. Every time I push up, I'm pushing down as if I could come right up off the floor in a split squat. So, all right. Boom. Here we go. I know we give a ton of different tips, but if you can, exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. boulders yeah perfect for you gentlemen out there well for you you know you gotta have something for when you're wearing a purse you can set you right up there because you got your nice defined shoulders you have a crossbody purse oh um, yeah those things just fall right off <laughs> it's got this big old slope all <laughs> right next one curtsy lunge so Let's do all six on one direction, six on the other direction, because I want to get show them the half rack hold as an option mm -hmm. in case people are starting to really fatigue up top here. So we're stepping behind with our left, which is going to be in our right hand. And I'm just going to have my other hand here to kind of hold it. We'll step behind, up, and then squat. Okay. Sound right. good? Yeah. And I'll just do goblet hold or... You can do it the other one too if you want. Okay. All right. Here we go. And then let's try and do all six on one side. Wow. 
Squats get me every time. I say it in every video. Squats get me every time. Every recording. I like that variation though. Yeah. So if you're more comfortable here, that obviously isn't the most ideal one for a dumbbell. Dumbbell, best option is still your goblet hold. Yeah. Kettlebell, goblet, pack rack, some different hold options for you. Yeah. Woo. All right, upright rows. Yeah, I'm finally getting my <laughs> getting oxygen right. back. Good. All right, 10 to 12 of these. Lift those elbows up until they just can't go any higher. And then lower. The one behind you. Oh, that was my 10. Oh, yep, that was 10. All right. Good news is. One more. One more. Bad news is there's one more. Yeah, still one more. <laughs> it's a good news, bad news situation. Yeah. Which do you want first, the good news or the bad news? Oh. Boy, Coach Brian, he really turned up this month. He knew it was a food holiday season. That's it. And, we go uh, springboard from <laughs> Thanksgiving or Easter candy to Thanksgiving Day to the Christmas holidays. And we're not going to holiday parties this year. So you all should be able to save a ton of calories. That is on, true. Five on pounds those. saved. Easily five pounds. Saved. Just don't buy it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Easily. We're not doing we're not doing the corporate things. Yeah. So no office parties. I'm gonna miss our members' cookies though. I, I know. That's shh. <laughs> <laughs> P.O. Box seventeen eighty one <laughs> Clarksburg. <laughs> There's a seven I think it's seventeen eighty two in case you really are sending it. <laughs> Somebody's going to be like, wow, this is awfully nice. <laughs> My P.O. Box neighbor. <laughs> All right, here we go. Need two swings <laughs> or three. Right. <laughs> two swings is, is the way it's two supposed to be done. In. But three is a little overkill. It's the heat is getting to my brain. Ooh. Ooh. Some some people might be buying some lighter. Kettlebells um, buy know. themselves something for an early holiday present. Yeah, I know. So a lot of times we're up here saying, get some heavier stuff. Get now or today we're saying, I want to lighten that up a little bit. I want to in a lighter one. Yeah, if I wasn't working out with you. That eight pounder would be my <laughs> would be my date for today. I tried to take it, but I just couldn't. <laughs> All right, back to the curtsy. You doing the half? Rack option? I like that. Okay. That's manageable. All right. Oh, I forgot the squat. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> Two more on this side. Oh. <sighs> We're so close to the finish line. Oh. Woo! It's good to have a little break to get over to the other side. <sighs> Three more. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, you don't need a lot of weight for that. You do not need a lot of weight for any of these. Oh my gosh. Let that heart rate come down. You know we're not using phony weights. That's a behind the scenes trick. A lot of these one demand coaches. So they can talk. These, so they can talk. <laughs> these things weigh nothing. They're plastic. They have them look like kettlebells. There are no weight whatsoever. And they can talk and do all this stuff at the same time. These are legit. Yeah, we're not that great of actors. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. All right, here I'm we a, go. I'm a terrible actor. All right. I can act a fool. My mom always told me I was good at that. Good news and good news. Those are done. Whew. And those are done. Get some water. Time for a drink. Wow. Hydration break. Hydration, low recovery. Okay. So, four hour next movements that we are going to do. Um, we'll give you a few options for those. You can stick one-sided. We're doing three rounds though. So if you do one side, then the other side, the third round, you'll either have to alternate or one of them would be hold the goblet hold. You could hold the goblet hold the entire time. You could alternate the entire time. So there's a lot of different options for you based off of the weight that you have. So let me show you. The first exercise that we're gonna do is a kettlebell swing. So if you have a heavy weight, do a double hand swing. If you have a lighter weight, you can do a single arm swing or alternate those single arms. We are going to do that for 25 seconds though. That's a, that's a good clip, okay? That's, that's a good, length of time for a kettlebell swing. If it's a dumbbell, I would alternate single arm dumbbell swings. The second exercise that we're gonna do. It seems simple, but in the timing frame that we have, you're going to want this. We are going to do a farmer's carry or a suitcase carry, depending. So here we can walk forward, walk backwards. Another option would be to hold it as a half rack. Take a few steps forward, a few steps backwards. We're only moving eight to 10 feet. If you have further, right? I particularly, my favorite is taking six steps forward, eight steps back. You might think, well, I'm gonna go further. You have shorter strides when you walk backwards. So the third option for that would be to hold it as a goblet nice and tall, walk forward, walk backwards, okay? So 25 work, 15 rest, 25 work, only 30 seconds rest. The work to rest ratio is more on the work side than on the rest side, okay? We normally don't do that. That's why this is gonna be particularly challenging. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna like those carries. Mm. You're gonna need a three rounds of this. Three rounds of this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let me get my bell ready for my swings. All right, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Begin. 25 seconds. Drive into those legs. Let that kettlebell float. Let that dumbbell float. Mm. <sighs> Five more seconds. 
Now it is literally like a pause. It's not even anything really, really lengthy. We're going in five seconds. I'm going to do a suitcase. Yeah. Suitcase round one, suitcase round two, goblet round three. <sighs> Try not to let it touch your leg if you're doing the suitcase. Try not to lean. Make every step count. Precision is key on this one. Okay. It's only a 30 second rest. It's not a lot. Okay. Watching our heart rate come down. I gotta focus mental. Back up for our swings. Ten seconds. Okay. Three, two, one, and here we go. <sighs> Using the legs. People forget that this is all leg driven. If you're doing the suitcase or the rack, hopefully you're on your dominant side if you plan that correctly. <laughs> Oops, all right, here we go. Make every step count. And only about one foot length at a time. That's it. If you wanna take this up a notch, just spread some Legos out. For real? Oh, well, sometimes. Well, it would take it up a notch. In <laughs> a not so great way, I think. Yeah, no, I highly don't recommend that. My insurance got to be like, why didn't you say that? Why would you? All right. Alternating swings, regular swings. All right. Going in three. Two, one, here we go. Power. That's good. Here we go. Eight more seconds. Woo! I can see the clock when I do this. Three. Holy moly. That's not a ton of weight for a swing, but I probably got three, four hundred of them in. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now here we go. All right. Let's walk. Make every step count. Last five seconds. Staying focused. We got it. Done. Benito. Oh my goodness. Benito. Yes. Breathe. Woo. Yeah. Coach, I don't know if it's it's the new month. Or Halloween just really candy. destroyed my body. Or just Halloween hungover. <laughs> Halloween hungover. That sounds like a real thing. Could be. Eat too many Snickers. Yeah. Or Reese's peanut butter. That's my, mine's order. Reese's, Kit Kat, Twix. Nothing comes after Reese's peanut butter cups. Really? Yeah. I really don't care about anything else. It's that peanut butter chocolate cup. Then everything else. I'm not a big caramel like hundred grand, thousand grand, whatever the grand one is. <laughs> hundred grand? Or Rolos. 
I spend like four hours picking stuff out of my teeth <laughs> for the rest of it. I can give those away. It's part of your hangover. That's it. I'll arm wrestle you for a Reese's though. Yes, no doubt. All right. All right, we'll start in that position there. Okay. Our 90-90 mm -hmm. position right here. We'll work in a little hip mobility with this as well. So from here, you probably are already feeling a little bit in this outer hip. What we're going to do is we're going to reach our body forward, lay it down, and see if we can't stretch out some of the glute of that front leg. And then let's sit up. If your left leg is forward, take your left hand up and reach all the way across your body. If your right is up or right is forward, take your right hand up. Oh, I'm feeling it. All right, let's bring that leg all the way around and sit forward. Bring that toe up to the ceiling and try to keep your shoulder square. Now let's bring our legs to the center. Sit up nice and tall for me. And then let's take the opposite leg, whichever leg you haven't done yet, you're gonna take that out in front. Try to think about that for a second. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm fully Cool down, there's a little residual effect going on on me. Might have a little heart rate spike. Carry over effect. Yeah. All right, tuck that leg back. Whatever arm is, whatever leg is forward, that arm comes up and over. And let's come all the way out. All right, and now we are gonna lay all the way on our backs and we'll grab a hold of our leg and we will bring it in. And you can even rotate your ankle a little bit, get little ankle circles. And take your leg all the way across your body, stretch it on out there. Woo, chiropractic adjustment. <laughs> I'll say. Other side now for me, please. And take that one across your body as well. All right, let's sit up with both legs forward. Straight out, you wanna sit up as tall as you can and we're gonna to try to go 180 degrees behind us. And let's go other side. And still sitting up as tall as you can, open and close those arms. Whenever we do this, I always worry about us smacking our hands together. I'm worried about the wall or the foam roller. And let's go up and down. So you make a field goal post up, turn them down, open up those shoulders a little bit. Do some good shoulder work today. Yeah, we did. Felt it. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one of the things that coach, wh when are you kicking it off? The ninth? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, coach is kicking off a fat loss accountability. It's got online training. It's got everything all balled into one. We know statistically speaking, you guys struggle the most during this time of year. Not only do we have this time of year upon us, but we have this time of year during
Corona and election and I mean everything is happening right now all at once and I've talked to some of you and it feels like my gosh it's like I'm under one of them weighted blankets we got you covered so it's gonna be nutrition it's gonna be all kinds of stuff she's gonna actually give you homework assignments so it's not just like this follow along thing um, where you're left up to your uh, on your own for this um, it starts on the 9th but uh, if you need any extra support that's what our team is here for we're here for you and I don't care if you live in Biloxi Mississippi or Anchorage Alaska or or you know Switzerland I don't care it's all online um, and, uh, and and so we're able to help many many more people through technology now so if you need a little bit of extra help or you want to just see what that's all about you know what is this thing that you're talking about email coach at uh, amy at goperformance.com and she'll get you all the details on it that's right did i do okay you did great awesome guys high five awesome job thank you very much for joining us today hit the subscribe button and uh stay tuned for some more videos